Hello, Helmut and Jamal. Thanks for agreeing to participate in this interview for the Effort Newsletter. Helmut, can you tell us what is your role in the Effort project? Uh, well, first I'm a leader of uh, Work Package 8 on economic impact and I'm a scientific uh, supervisor of, for instance, uh, Jamal who is sitting beside me. Excellent. Jamal, so what have you working on until now in the project? Yeah, I'm working on the economic aspects of reducing antimicrobial use at the farm level. And what we are looking at is that uh, antimicrobial agents are used to cure diseased animals. And in respect, uh, antimicrobial use has a damage abatement effect because uh, it, it reduces the damage that occurs because of the possible livestock diseases. In that respect, antimicrobial use is an important role within the production process. On top of that, antimicrobial agents are rather cheap. But besides all the benefits, there is a downside, and that's the development of antimicrobial resistance. So we have to reduce antibiotic use. Uh, what we are doing is that we look at how we can reduce antimicrobial use without negatively affecting the economic farm performance. Well, that sounds like a really interesting topic that you have there for your PhD project. What have been your most significant results so far? Uh, I would say at first that our results are preliminary, but at the same time, it's also about uh, the, the risk attitude of the farmer because when uh, farmers are really risk averse, it's very likely that they will use more antibiotics compared to farmers that are less risk averse. Uh, in addition, we observed quite some differences between farms. There are farms that have relatively high output in combination with a low antimicrobial use. So these are the most, this is the most def um, desired situation but at the same time, there are also farms with a relatively low output level and a low antimicrobial use. From a farm perspective, it, and it's interesting to see how we can, uh, what are the differences between the other farms. Okay, thank you, Jamal. So what are your plans then for the final period of the project? Yeah, then uh, the plans are that we have to uh, have to see and to come up with an explanation for the difference in farm performance. So what I discussed before is that there are differences in, in output level in combination with the uh, antimicrobial use level. And yeah, we have to find out the explanatory factors of these differences in order to know what we can do to reduce antimicrobial use. And we also will investigate the effects of intervention. So uh, various interventions uh, have taken place at poultry and pig farms. And what we will do is that we will see what the uh, technical effects are of these, uh, of these interventions. And then, uh, then we will find out what the consequences for the economic farm. So these interventions are also um, activities implemented by the other work packages or the other partners, right? Yes, true. Yeah, that's in collaboration with Work Package 6. Very good. So um, back to you, Helmut. So what um, do you think then is the scope of these results or how does this work fit in the overall AMR issue? Well, Economic point of view, we, uh, within our work package, we have discovered several building blocks for developing a new insight and a new view on the economics of antimicrobial use, links between use and certain farm conditions and things like that. So these are what you can call the objective findings. And, um, they, and that is what we will do in the last phase of the project. We want to link them with uh, questions uh, at the level of the policy policy development, policy alternatives, and we want to link the results of our research with these discussions. And in that sense, we hope that we can uh, 
have a, a kind of contribution in yeah, the further development of antimicrobial uh, policy uh, aimed at the reduction of uh, the use without compromising farm performance, farmers' incomes. So what could such changed policies mean for the farmers in their daily work? Well, basically, of course, in, in my view, uh, a policy uh, uh, determines uh, the, the constraints within a farmer has to produce. Uh, in, 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 in concrete, uh, policy determines whether or not antibiotics can be used and in which uh, conditions and things like that. In that sense, uh, policy is the nominated thing, but if policy uh, is based on uh, knowledge which uh, affects the, the, the farmers, which directly uh, or which which includes also the consequences of policy making, then first of all policy will be improved and, all, and in the second hand the choice will be such that the farmers will be affected the least or most positively um, uh, thought it can be stimulated. Yeah? So in that sense, um, we can be a bridge of between policy and the farmers. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for taking the time for this interview.